everybody, welcome back. We're here back with the M2. We took a couple of video break to work on my 1800 Ti, but now we're back with the G87. And now we're starting in with more horsepower mods. So this is the road to doing the ECU tune, but we wanted to show you guys every option and every iteration you could do with the G87 that we recommend here at PSI. So anybody that comes to me that says, I don't really feel comfortable sending my ECU to Europe. I don't really want to do that. We recommend the Daler box, which is an ECU piggyback. It plugs into the ECU harness. It's super easy install. It's about an hour to install it. It's pretty much a flawless unit, adds about 100 horsepower. We had this on our previous car on the G80. It was a big impact, especially on the manual cars, because the regular G80s are down on power just like this is, supposedly. And we also have the valve controller, which is also Daler. There's a lot of different piggybacks on the market. We want to recommend the one that, in my opinion, the highest quality unit. It's going to last through all the hot days in Florida, pushing the car over and over and over. There's some other ones in the past that we've done. I no longer recommend those. This is an easy unit. And for those of you that are not comfortable sending the ECU. After we do this modification and do some other things, we're actually going to send the ECU over to Finland to have it unlocked. And then we're going to have Kerry Jordan do a custom tune. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the channel for that. We're going to kind of go through the install on the Daler. Peyton's going to go ahead and install that for you guys on camera. We're also going to do the valve controller. And the cool thing about the valve controller is the stock cars modify and move the valves according to RPM. So it's really RPM based. It kind of has a mind of its own. The Daler makes it so that it's black and white. You can close the valves, you can open the valve, Valves. More and more customers on our website have been pairing the valve controller with our PSI midpipe that's for the M2 and for the M3. While we're doing the valve controller, we're also going to do the BMW Performance Carbon Diffuser, which I could never get from BMW. They finally allowed it to be ordered, so I went ahead and ordered it last week. And it gets rid of all the gloss black, which I don't like on the car. I've said that in other videos. So we're going to go ahead and add that diffuser on. We're still trying to complete the M Performance look before we pull those off and do some of the aftermarket parts from some other manufacturers, which we actually already have on the way. So now let's get into do the, the Daler controller for the ECU. Last night we were able to finish the ECU Daler controller and I was able to drive it home. It's definitely a lot different. That dead spot between 1000 and 3000 RPM is gone and the car feels a lot more powerful. I think before on the G80 we added about 100 horsepower to the car. The other cool thing is is that there's an application for iPhone and Android with the Daler that allows you to control the map. So when you install the Daler it's in race mode which is the mode that makes power. You can also change it. There's a comfort mode and an eco mode. It basically is just a different software that it's using on the hardware box. There's also a really cool setting for warm-up time for cold start to be able to control if you have a really loud exhaust how long the valves are open and stuff like that. It's just a super simple setup. You don't even need to download the app. Most customers that we've done this for we install it it velcros right into the ECU box. Super simple super clean and it's just on all the time. There's no adjustment there's no tuning you don't need to memorize your settings but some customers do want that and that's why they have the app. So Peyton's going to finish up installing the valve controller. We're going to get on the BMW M Performance rear diffuser User, then we're going to show you guys the functionality of the controller. Okay, so to recap everything that we've done for this episode with the J87, we did the carbon fiber M Performance Diffuser, which looks super sick. Gets rid of more of the black plastic, which everyone knows that I don't like. Really makes the back end look more kind of like the G80, G82 cars with the carbon pack. We did the Daler Piggyback Unit, which is an ECU piggyback, plugs into the OEM harness, gives us just over 100 horsepower. We're gonna be taking the car to the dyno with all of the current mods that are on it. We're also gonna be adding the Eventuri intake, which is on the way from Eventuri. The last thing that we did was the flaps, the Daler flap controller, which pairs well with our mid pipe. It actually allows the valves to completely open, which a lot of people know on these cars, they never actually completely open. So it gives you the option to have an even louder version of our mid pipe. So it's a cool add on. In addition to it making it louder, it also fully closes the flaps for neighborhood. All right, so we're going to close out the video by demonstrating the cool remote that works with the flap to fully open and fully close the valves with the PSI mid pipe. Thanks for tuning in for another G87 M2 video here with PSI. PSI. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the page. We'll see you next time. We got some really cool world traveling that we're doing and we'll have some more cars coming soon.